Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna talk about something that I've never actually shared here on YouTube. I'm gonna talk about how a priest read my soul, which means he could see all my sins from like way back. And it sounds pretty scary, but it's actually like, it's, it's a miracle pretty much is what happens. So I'm gonna talk about that and my experience with that. If you are new here, please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this awesome community. Give this a thumbs up, share the video, and let's get into this. So it's interesting because some priests have this gift of knowing the soul that they are confess when you're confessing they know the sins of the person and i know that sounds very scary to a lot of people it was a little intimidating for me because i knew that the priest had this gift when i went to see him um so i was a little nervous because no nobody really wants to like ha have other people see their sins or know their sins because it's such a like an embarrassing thing in a lot of ways, but um, this is actually a gift that some priests have. Like St. Padre Pio was known for reading people's souls. Like he could tell if somebody didn't say a sin, he could tell, you know, to the depth of what that sin was, all of this, which made him almost a better counselor. Like he could counsel people on a much deeper level than, you know, a priest could if they didn't see your soul. Anyway, it sounds much scarier than it is. It's actually so freeing. If I could, I would go to a priest that could read my soul once or twice a month because I just truly, it was so freeing. So my story, when I went, I was in high school. So I went with a friend, me and a friend went, obviously we went at different times, but we both knew that it was a priest that had this gift of reading souls. And, um, and so, you know, I waited and I was nervous and I went in and it was very interesting because there were definitely a lot of sins that I had never confessed before. At the time, I don't think I knew that that was even a sin that when you don't confess a sin, that's actually a grave sin. That's a pretty bad sin. So I didn't realize that. Um, and he helped me to understand that. So even if it's embarrassing to say, like it's still so important um, to say those those sins, you know? And that's why I love going behind the screen. I know a lot of people like going face to face, but with him, I was face to face. And so it was like I was in high school and I, w I was a you know pretty good girl growing up and all of that, but he knew sins that I had never confessed before and he counseled me so well. And there were sins that he had said that I honestly did not even remember doing, but I, it like knowing myself, like I, I knew that that was true. Like I was like, yeah, like that, that was, probably something that I did. So it was kind of neat because it was like the Holy Spirit was revealing to me like deeper things that we don't necessarily remember. But it's truly a way of freeing our soul to the highest depth because that's what confession is. It's freeing us from that sin and being truly sorrowful for those sins. And the awesome thing is God loves us he has so much mercy for each one of us no matter how big our sin no matter how much we stumble obviously we want to stop singing sinning and we want to turn away but the first step to like healing truly healing is through confession so confession is a part of the the journey of spiritual healing you know because god wants us to be clean he wants us to be completely healed because that's when we can live our best life that's the, the way that we can grow closer to god when there's sin in our lives then there's a barrier between us and god and god's always there he will always be there but it's us who, like we're the ones getting farther and farther away so when we go to confession we're coming back to god we can hear god so much better we can just live a more peaceful life so that is why i try to go to confession at least once a month um that's what our lady of fatima said to do so i try really hard to go out at least a once a month and i try to give a really honest truthful confession even if it's embarrassing you know and i you know i think we all have this thing in our heart where we think that the priest is just gonna like go crazy uh, but i've never i've had that happen once um where the, the priest was just short with me 
but for the most part the priests love that we're there because they know the healing process and like they know that this is a way that that we're getting closer to god is to say i'm sorry for what i've done you know and stuff so um, i just encourage you if you haven't been to confession in a while please don't be afraid don't be scared like only good things will come from it be honest about your confession honest about what's what happened and um god will heal you none of us are perfect the priests know that and so for the most part priests are very 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 sweet you know and they are good counselors the holy spirit usually talks through them to us so anyway that was my experience it was pretty amazing uh my friend who went at the same time it was very interesting because she had a very different past than i did um so she was so brave like she did so so great so anyway it was it was very interesting her experience my experience both a very different type of people uh very different lifestyles but um we both felt healed afterwards so um if you ever get a chance to go to a priest who reads souls i highly recommend it it might sound scary but it is the most amazing gift i mean it truly is a gift to be able to go to a priest that knows our souls so that we can heal like that's the best part so anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time i will see you all later god bless bye